how do psychologists actually figure out what's true about human behavior? They don't just guess, and they don't rely on common sense. Psychology is a science, and that means using the scientific method to ask questions, test ideas, and find real evidence. Let's walk through how this works. Step one, ask a question. It all starts with curiosity, an observation about people or behavior. For example, why do some students remember more after getting a full night's sleep? That's the kind of question psychologists love to explore. Step two, form a theory. A theory is a broad explanation that organizes what we already know. In this case, the theory might be sleep improves memory. It's a general idea that we now want to test. A psychologist may also review the literature at this point. They may review various journal articles or other written pieces on this topic to see what other psychologists have already found out about this topic. Step three, develop a hypothesis. From the theory, we make a hypothesis, a specific testable prediction. For example, students who sleep eight hours before a test will score higher than students who only sleep four hours. Step four, define your variables or operational definitions. Now, we need clear, detailed definitions of what we're measuring. This is called operational definitions. What counts as sleep? What kind of test are we using to measure memory? These details make the study accurate and repeatable. Step five, choose a research method and the design of the study. Psychologists pick a method that fits the question. They might use a descriptive method like surveys or observations to describe behavior, correlational studies to see if two things are related, or experiments to test cause and effect by manipulating variables. In our sleep example, an experiment would work best. We can control the hours of sleep and compare the test results in the end. Step six, collect the data. Once the study begins, psychologists collect data, test scores, survey results, observations, whatever is needed to test the hypothesis. Step seven, analyze results and draw conclusions. After collecting data, researchers look at the results. Did students who slept more do better? If so, the results support the hypothesis. If not, they may revise the theory or test again with a different group of people. Step eight, replicate the study. The final step is replication. That means repeating the study to see if the same results happen again. Replication makes the findings more reliable and helps confirm that the results weren't just luck. In psychology, we can't just trust our instincts or what sounds true. The scientific method gives us a way to test ideas carefully, step by step, from sleep studies to social experiments. This process helps us understand behavior with real evidence, not just guesses.